Good day everyone. Today we will be discussing the conditional statement. So in this lesson, we're going to write our general form into if and then form. So by definition, a conditional statement are formed by joining two statements, P and Q. Is our two statements, the P and Q, using words. If and then. Okay. The P or the P statement is called the hypothesis and the Q statement is called the conclusion. So we have here the hypothesis and the conclusion. So if we have if P then Q, if P here represents the hypothesis and Q represents our conclusion. So if and then. Then we have the P, the hypothesis, and Q is the conclusion. Now, what is the difference between the hypothesis and the conclusion? Hypothesis tells whether the statement is proven to be true or false. While conclusion is an evaluation of the underlining theory or data of the hypothesis. Now, in this lesson, it is very important that you need first to determine what is your hypothesis and your conclusion. Let's have a series of examples to further understand this conditional statement. Now, let's have our exercises. Our direction is write the conditional statement on each statement. So, we have... Uh, we're going to write the conditional statement, the if and then. So we have here, if P, then Q. P, our hypothesis. Q is our conclusion. Our first statement is, Filipinos are hospitable. Now, to write in conditional statement, first identify your hypothesis, our P, and conclusion, the Q. So here, our hypothesis is Filipino. Okay, this is our P. Then, your conclusion, our Q, is the hypothesis. Okay, we're going to write into if and then. So if P, so we have if, if you are a Filipino, then you are hospitable. Okay, that's it. So in some cases, you can also write this one using uh, a name of a certain pe person. Let's say, if Pablo is a Filipino, then our pronoun, Pablo, then he is hospitable. And if you are pertaining to a female, let's say, if Maria is a Filipino, then she is hospitable. That is also correct. Again, in writing the conditional statement, first, identify your hypothesis and your conclusion. Let's have our second example. Second example, or second statement, all right angles are congruent. So, where is your hypothesis? Okay. Right angles or all right angles. This is our P. Then, your conclusion is the word congruent. That is our conclusion. We conclude. Now, we're going to write into conditional statement. If The angles 
or we can say if all angles are right okay, we are talking to right angles therefore that measures 90 degrees if all angles are right then the angles then the angles are congruent yes definitely it is true if all angles are right then the angles are congruent why because our right angles measures exactly 90 degrees okay this will be our conditional statement now our third example our third question a square has four equal sides and angles so what is your hypothesis so our hypothesis is a square then our conclusion has four equal sides and angles that is our Q we're going to write into if and then so what we know about a square so a square is a polygon a square is a quadrilateral because quadrilateral is a four-sided figure or polygon so we can say if a polygon is a square if a polygon is a square then it it has four equal sides and angles or it can be if a quadrilateral is a square then it has four equal sides and angles okay that is also correct now can you try our fourth statement parallel lines are lines in a plane which do not intersect pause the video if you want to answer then after answering resume watching to check your answers now let's check your work number four identify our hypothesis and conclusion in our statement our hypothesis is parallel lines that is our P then conclusions are lines in a plane which do not intersect that is our conclusion writing in if and then so we have if the lines are parallel if the lines are parallel then it is the lines in a plane which do not intersect comma if the lines are parallel then it is the lines in the plane that are which do not intersect just count the lines in the plane which do not intersect so you can write the if and then of course you can revise your sentence to come up with the correct ideas now our last and fifth statement a right angle measures exactly 90 degrees if you want to try number five pause the video then after answering resume watching to check your answer now let's identify which is the hypothesis the hypothesis is the right angle that is our b 
Then, our conclusion measures 90 degrees. Writing into conditional statement, if the angle is right, okay, we're using the word is because we are talking with singular angle. Then, it measures exactly 90 degrees. So, that ends our discussion. Again, conditional statement. These are the statements that can be written into if and then form. First step, identify your hypothesis and your conclusion. Then, generate your conditional statement. Just follow if P, then Q. Thank you for watching Senior Pablo TV.